This is how to do a goodness of fit test, one of the chi-squared tests in SPSS. So we have births by months here. I'm going to switch the number of the month to the actual name of the month. I'm going to go up here and hit click that little switch your thing file. So this tells you that in January there are 2,582,000 births. Frequencies are in thousands here. And so we're going to check to see if there's any significant difference in the number of births by month. They're all relatively close. You got a big one here, August. You know, and you got a small one. What's the smallest one? Looks like February. So we're going to just run the goodness of fit test. First thing you got to do is you're going to go to data. You're going to weight the analyses here. It's way down here. Weight the, weight the cases. Click on that. And we're going to weight them by the frequencies. Click OK. And I believe we're ready to go. So we're just going to go to Analyze. Down here to Non-Parametric Tests. Over to Legacy Dialogues. And the Chi-Square Test. Remember, this is the goodness of fit test. Pretend you didn't see that. And then you put the categorical variable in there because it's going gonna, it's gonna to count the frequencies for you. That's the beauty about this. And I don't think you need any of that stuff. You just click OK. And here's the expected count. How the computer got the expected account was if the null were true, there'd be no differences in the number of births per month. So it took the total, 31,681, and it simply divided by 12. That's where the 2640 comes from, OK? So according to this, there is a significant difference between the number of births per month. It's it's pretty big too, right? Your chi squared is 55.07, and your sig value, your p value, is, is far less than 0 0.05. In fact, it's less than 0 0.001. So that means there was a significant difference in the number of births per month. I hope this helps. MGZ out.